What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Just had to check you in the thing. There's nothing in here, but... So, we got some stuff done today. Found, figured out why the suspension... So, in the time between the last video and now, I've gotten new wheels and tires. Yeah! Some vintage American Racing Torque to us. Spoke D's. D-spoke, I mean. They look nice on a 25570R15. There's a reason why I went with this tire. One, just barely fits. And two, there's the biggest I can fit on a seven. Yes, these are sevens. And the fronts are sixes. I'm keeping the sixes now. Because it, that that staggered look is good. And eventually, I'll wind up getting another tire for the front. But that's eventually. I can run with that tire for now on the street. It's not going to be that bad. As long as I'm not doing any corners at like high speeds. So, I don't plan to. And I don't want to. Because I don't want to wreck this car again. But there's a better view of the tire with the with the look. I did want to go red lines. Couldn't find a red line that was cheap enough to where I could afford it. So we went Cooper Cobra Radial GT, which had my truck, which was pretty good when it was one wheel drive. And then it's got the Pro Track, the Coker Pro Track front runners. I think it was like a 185 or 195 on the front. These things look nice. And then we also wound up in. When I was trying to get this fuel pressure gauge in, the two clamps I had here broke, so I had to get new clamps, so that was cheap and easy. So now it's ready, other than the spark plug wires, which are still getting fixed, it is ready to run other than the brakes. Brakes still need fixed because the line that goes into this from the new brake setup at the back going into this proportioning valve is completely different. Because it takes a proportion valve from the right stuff, detailing. Which requires me to swap the entire system. From that little mash cylinder and proportion valve to something else. With a bigger inlet and outlet on it. So we're going to figure out about that later. Right now it's just get the engine running right. Get it dialed in. Air filter and or air cleaner lid and base is off at getting powder cook or getting polished to match the valve covers. Yes, they are polished. They're just dirty right now. I need to repolish them. But it's going to be nice. And then, so I put the posi in. So I put the posi in. It's right there. And so I finished the entire interior. As you can clearly see, because there's no seats in it. But I'm waiting to get the seats back. So seats should be back soon. But just look at the stance. Just look at it. That is the 70s stance right there. And I love it. The only worry is that I might have to roll the wheel well a little bit more. Just because when it comes down, I can only fit two fingers in here. Or one finger in there. Going this way. Which is enough clearance. It's just I would like, I would prefer a bit more to be safe. So maybe I'll get more clearance later. But... Car is coming along. Uh, still do some wiring issues, like the lights trigger the the charging gauge to turn on, which is weird. I don't know why that's still going on, but I thought we I thought we fixed that when we redid the entire wiring harness, but no. So we'll figure that out later. And yes, I do know the rust. I do know it needs body work. I don't remind me. I'm trying to get there. But first, it needs to drive to the paint shop. And I want to enjoy it this year. So, paint is last. Paint is absolutely last. Because I still got to get trim for this thing. So, by the time paint gets started on, I'll be getting the trim, like, for the grill. Because the grill is kind of nasty looking. All spray painted and buffed. All spray painted and sanded down on the edges. And then the headlight bezels are all shot. So eventually I'll have to get, I'll just get a whole brand new front trim package from SS396, which they do have. They do have a full trim package for this, which is just the bezels, the grill, the SS badge, which I'm not going to get the SS badge, the hood trim, which is all the way up there, along with a little centerpiece of hood trim, and the pieces that go on here, the eyebrows, they call them. So, I mean, just look at that. Just, just look at that. Can I zoom anymore? No, okay. 
Just look at the way that sits. That's on the ground right now, ladies and gentlemen. There's no jack stands underneath this thing. It's all on the ground. This is this is going to be nice, and I think this thing is literally going to run probably really freaking amazing. Granted, it's still an old engine, but the way it's been rebuilt may as well be brand new. May as well be a brand new, super reliable crate motor from now. So, I'm going to get going, get cleaned up. Thanks for watching this update. Please like and subscribe and share the channel, people, because only one of my videos has 34,000 views, and it's none of the Nova. Not a single one of the Nova has 34,000 views. So, let's get the Hot Wheels Nova going. So, I will see you all later. And have a good day, everybody. Bye.